Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new Let's Play. My name is Siperos and this is Return to Monkey Island. My, and I would imagine most other adventure game enthusiasts, most anticipated adventure game of this year. I don't think the Monkey Island series itself needs much of an introduction, but why this game is such a big deal to many of us is because it was developed by Terrible Toy Box founded by Ron Gilbert, the original or one of the original creators of the Monkey Island series and its first two games. I never thought I would see this day, to be completely honest with you. If you had told me a year ago that Ron Gilbert would someday make another Monkey Island game, I would have called you crazy and delusional, that's not gonna happen as much as I would want it, etc. I just didn't see it happening. But then, earlier this year, on April Fool's Day no less, Ron Gilbert just, just tweeted like an absolute chat that he's working on a new Monkey Island game. And they had actually been working on this game for two years in secret by the time he tweeted that. And now it's finally here. Fresh from the oven, so to speak, released yesterday on September 19th. I did want to play this immediately when the game was available to download, but I kinda screwed up, screwed up my sleep schedule over the weekend, university stuff kept me busy, and I, and I was just too tired, so I decided to start playing this uh, in, today instead. Anyway, Return to Monkey Island is a direct sequel to Ron Gilbert's Monkey Island 2, Let Chuck's Revenge from 1991. So I'm really excited to see whether the bizarre ending of Let Chuck's Revenge gets an, gets an explanation in this. And most importantly, will we finally learn what is the secret of Monkey Island? Well, let's find out. So without further ado, let's start our new pirate adventure in the Caribbean in the shoes of our mighty pirate, Guybrush Threepwood. But actually, there's this scrapbook here. View the scrapbook if you are new to Monkey Island or need a refresher. Well, it's been many years. When, when did I play the second game, Let Chuck's Revenge? It's been a few years, I, a few years now, I think. I do remember the, I do remember what happened in the first and second game, but in case you don't know what happened in those games, then, well, let's, let's check the scrapbook. I'm curious, let's check it out. Hey, wanna see my mighty pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Yes, please. And Guybrush is, by the way, um, by the way, once again, uh, voice acted by uh, Dominic Armato, the one and only uh, voice of Guybrush. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. Okay. And by the way, do let me know in the comments if you want me to adjust the volumes in any way. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Mm, okay, I guess we move forward. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Mm -hmm. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. Yeah, obviously. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. Mm -hmm. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. Yes, very. We had to put some poodles, uh, poodles to sleep. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. Mm -hmm. You had to know the right insults to... You had to know the right insults and counter insults and so on. This is when I met Elaine, the love of my life. She was governor at the time. And still is, I believe. I believe that she's the governor of... Is she the governor of like three islands, actually? And Melee Island is one of them. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Yeah, you could say that again. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. Who is this handsome fellow over here? LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Mm-hmm. I, <laughs> I remember that. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. And it also had uh, cannibals as, uh, as residents. You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. Are you sure? On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue, 
with hidden catacombs underneath. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It was kind of hilarious. It was like two neighbors uh, bickering. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. Mm, yeah, Elaine had actually escaped herself and replaced herself with two monkeys. How did LeChuck not notice that? I don't know. That turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? That's a very good question. I defeated LeChuck and he basically exploded. Yeah, li literally. He made some nice fireworks when he exploded. It was the beginning of something magical. Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah, so so now he's talking about the events of Monkey Island 2, Let Chuck's Revenge. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. Yeah, <laughs> good times indeed. Not, not so good times for him, but anyway, uh, the voodoo lady. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. I don't really remember what we did with the voodoo doll, except for that we used it against LeChuck at the end. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Yeah, true. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. Yeah, we used a voodoo doll against him. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Mm -hmm. LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. Wait, this? Now we're talking about the events of Curse of Monkey Island. I thought that this game was a direct sequel to LeChuck's Revenge, a Ron Gilbert's Monkey Island game. Okay, I'm, I'm curious now. Does Ron Gilbert consider Curse of Monkey Island as canon? The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. He thinks of her as furniture. Well, actually, it wasn't really uh, LeChuck who turned her into stone. Uh, not stone, into gold even. We just picked up this big giant uh, diamond ring from his ship before we sunk it, and then we gave it to her when when we proposed to Elaine, but we didn't know that the ring was cursed, so it turned her into gold. That's what really happened. Oh, hey, that's Murray. It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. Hmm, yeah. That sea battle was great in Curse of Monkey Island, one of my most uh, favorite parts of that game. And that's the big snake that ate us one time, I think. A volcano? Oh, whatever this is. I erupted a volcano on purpose. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. Oh yeah, we did that. We did, we did erupt this one uh, lactose intolerant um, volcano on purpose in the Curse of Monkey Island. I got eaten by a snake! But we survived. And we also died. I got buried alive! Well, yeah, technically we got buried alive instead and we didn't, we didn't actually die. Things backfired on LeChuck because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Game, set, matchmaker. Hmm. And what else? This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Elaine and me, together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. Mm -hmm. This is the daisy we stomped on together. The wedding traditions are weird. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. Okay. I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. Okay. I don't know if 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 this if he's not describing the events of 
uh, Escape from Monkey Island. I did play that game as a kid, but I never actually, I have never actually beaten it yet. So I don't know too much about that. Oh man, this was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. Okay, I really don't know anything about this. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate, or even an insult at all. Or was it? <laughs> I don't know. Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. Okay, I don't remember that part. I don't remember that part uh, from es Escape from Monkey Island. That, uh, that happens very early. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. Are those like... Are those two like big mechs, or what are these? Or are they robots? The monkey looks kind of like a robot, and LeChuck here looks like a big uh, stone golem. And a stitched heart. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. Mm -hmm. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. Okay, now I think he's describing the, describing the events of Telltale's uh, Tales of Monkey Island series. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. <laughs> came in handy. Yeah, I, 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 don't know mu I don't know much about uh, Tales of Monkey Island either, but I do know that he... That guy brush seemed to have lost his arm, uh, his hand, and was and was replaced by a hook. Morgan Lafay betrayed me, even after we bonded inside a giant manatee. I should have trusted her less. I don't know who she is. I think that she was some sort of a bounty hunter hunting for guy brush tripwood, but I could be wrong about that. That I believe I believe is Lechuk when uh, when he was brought back to life. I think. Elaine wasn't fooled by LeChuck's human form any more than I was. I should have trusted her more. Mm-hmm, okay. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death. Except when it does. I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. Love did win out in the end. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. Okay, yeah. I defeated the Chuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. Note to self, get more paper for the rest of my adventures. Okay. So, was that it? Interesting that he started to describe the events of Curse of Monkey Island, Escape from Monkey Island, and Tales of Monkey Island. I was not expecting that. Okay, well now let's start the actual game. Oh, okay, we got casual and hard mode here as well, okay. Casual mode, all the story and all the fun, but with casual puzzles for the PC on the go player. Hard mode, more puzzles, harder puzzles, the full monkey, for the pro adventure gamer who wants it all. Well, I don't have much time now, uh, as I, uh, because of my uni university studies, so let's go with the casual mode. <laughs> as if, we're gonna go with hard mode, of course. Prelude, an unexpected story begins. Take this, LeChuck! Ugh. Guybrush, come over here, gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? Alright, alright, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um... Come on, let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so... lifelike. I wonder if it's real.
Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir! Come on, I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs? I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow! Okay, so we are continuing uh, straight where we left off in Lechuk's Revenge. So this is basically I what- I got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. Shut up, Shucky. So this is where we left off in, in the in Lechuk's Revenge. And, and that ending at the time was quite controversial within the fandom because many people didn't like how the game ended. Implying that all the that all the adventures of Guy Streetwood were uh, that all the adventures of Guy, Guy Streetwood were just this kid's imagination. People didn't like that, or at least some of them some didn't. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese oh. inside. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's uh, decrease the volume of the dialogue at least a tiny weeny bit. Uh, effect should be fine. Ambience uh, should be. Or ambient should be fine by now. Uh, should be fine for now. Okay, we got multiple save slots here. I like that. Save here, sure. Okay, so this is our inventory. I take it. Yes. Open to do list. Okay, so we got our to do list here as well. Junior Mighty Pirates to do list. Buy scurvy dogs. Okay. We don't have any money on us, do we? I guess not. This seems to be our wallet. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. Ma'am. Um, okay, that that must have been terrible. Anyway, um, can we talk to him? What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Hmm. Let's uh. I should have I should have done this earlier, but let's put the. Sound effect sub subtitles. Sure. And uh, speech only, text only, text and speech. Yeah, let's go with that. Writers cut more more platter, worse pacing. <laughs> well, let's let's not let's not do that. What should we do next? There we go. We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? You. Is it real? Ah, sounds real. Sure, sounds like it, all right. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um, hello? Boo! Ha, <laughs> he's dead to the world. Well, at least he's not literally dead. In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien score butt. Mm -hmm. Ah, what do we have here? A rat swim swimming in trash. Chucky has no good ideas. Check the barrel. This would be great for Apple Bobby. Uh, I wouldn't do that with that barrel, but. Muck I can around. stand on my head without using my hands. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. <laughs> they were fast. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. Yeah, yeah. Where are we, anyway? I believe that this that this is supposed to be some kind of an amusement park. Or at least it sure looked like it. Looked like it in Lechuk's Le Revenge. Get some scurvy dogs I over here. Okay, read the sign. It says, return outhouse key when finished, or else. Hmm, okay. That that key is on a that key is on a peg leg. Oh, I see. So that that's for the outhouse. Good to know. Looks like they need a swabby in here. I'll never be the ship swabby. That is really really low. Mm-hmm. Ah, so these are the, these are scurvy dogs. Wait, wait. I got two options here. I have an extra tooth here. in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. How much are scurvy dogs and order a couple of sc scurvy dogs? Well, how much are these? How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. That's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Mm-hmm. But we don't have any money on us, do we? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. Didn't you say half a pe piece of eight earlier? 
well, we we order in order in two, so yeah, I guess I guess it makes one. Please, can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen Look at up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. Okay, fair enough. I guess, never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Oh. What did you say scurvy dogs, uh, scurvy dogs uh, cost? How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. Hmm, okay, so we need at least one piece of eight. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Oh. Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. Didn't realize it. he was going to repeat it. Chicken foot fries. How much are those chicken foot fries? Chicken foot fries are two pieces of eight. Hmm, okay. Hmm, the grog. Can we even drink grog? How much is a mug of grog? Grog's for grown-ups. Beat it! Yeah, I thought so. Okay, well, can we take this peg leg? We need to go to the bathroom. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> hmm. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Oh, okay. Well, we, we better we better bring bring it back then. Okay, so. Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? It unlocks the outhouse outside. Mm, okay, well, let's go and check the outhouse. It's oh, it's this one. Okay. So let's just use this. Good, you unlocked it. Ew. Smell this lodge. Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as the toilet. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. Search for coins in the pile of filth. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. Okay, do we still have the... Yes, we still have the peg leg. We can't use it on this pile, though, apparently. Mm, how about down here? Gross. Gross. How about in the toilet itself? At home. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. <laughs> There's a dead rat. Gross. Gross indeed. Uh, what's this? What's this thing? It isn't a piece of eight. But it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Okay. I thought it was a piece of eight at first. It looks just like a piece of eight. I guess a fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Well, let's hope that the guy uh, can't tell the difference. Okay. Anything else here? Can I highlight... Yes, I can. I can highlight all the, all the interactables. What does this say? Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. I'm not. <laughs> we're not gonna wash our hands in this filth. Okay. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Is that is that is that just Chucky that he's pointing at? I I think it is. I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of eight. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. Mm, okay, thanks for the hint, Chucky. All right, here you go, sir. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs, if you want. Perfect. Perfect indeed. Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Uh, 
I'm having these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever. That's good, What huh? do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? Okay, uh, let's see. What does our to-do list say? Mess around and explore. Mess around and explore. Find our real parents. Okay. Yeah, is that? That seems like a beach area. What are those? Oh, they're just people playing around. Okay. What's this the say? Words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. Mm, okay. Oh, should we return the peck leg? Let's see. Hey, look! I'm returning the key! You want a medal? That would be nice. In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien score butt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Tie up Chucky, can we? Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. Damn, okay. What does this sign say? Exhibit removed. Ah. In France, they call a scurvy Yeah, yeah, we know, Chucky, shut up. More rats floating in the garbage. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Okay, fine. Well... The list did tell us to mess around, so do we just do this? Hey, Chucky! Get ready to run! I guess they don't like visitors. So, what's that it? No. Can we go here? Yeah, let's go that way now. That's my friend D. Hey D. Oh, hey hi. Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sidheads. Hmm, okay, so our list got updated by her. Okay, mess around and explore. Check out the banker. Beat Chucky in the, uh, in a race. I almost uh, I almost read that as beat Chucky in the face. Feed the duck. Add some sauce to my scurvy dog. Practice sword fighting. Find out four leaf clover. Make a wish at the wishing well and find our real parents. Okay, that's a lot of stuff to do. Well, here's the anchor. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat. Shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, Somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds it's like of she's people invested an entire a lot of article. money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made porn at an invisible city. Yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <laughs> now finally, she's done. If you miss anything, you can press uh, dot to see previous lines. I mean... Oh, uh, that paused again. Uh,
Oh, okay. So it works like this. Okie dokie. So she's a nerd, alright. We have now est 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 established that. Mm, can we read the plot, or does it really matter after? That's a cool anchor! <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as How much about the as again? I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't oh. designed to hold ship they were like this? Used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to Wait. war. They started then. Oh, like this, okay. But the, you can stun a modern anchor. That's to be that. The little f most yeah, anchor yeah, about it. all. But the old the word they're called. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, see you later, nerd. Okay, so that's now done. Why can't I check my list? There we go. Beat Chucky in a race. No, you mean this race here. Challenge Chucky to a race. This is not the spitting contest again, is it? Hey, Chucky! Wanna race? You're on! I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Damn, we are fast. I win! <laughs> there we go, and... Is she gonna follow us? Well, not follow us, but... She's showing where to go next. Oh, take some bread. Hey, hands off! Why? What do you care? It's just bread on the ground. Talk to the couple. Excuse me. Yes. Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Well, aren't you stinging? Excuse me. Yes. Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean again? Run along <laughs> and find your real parents. Well, we're working on it, but it's at the bottom of our list here, so we may not even do that in this episode. Okay, so we have to steal this thread away from them, somehow. Hmm, what's in the basket? I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days, you have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. Mm -hmm. And I've got the other half. Gotta run! How rude. <laughs> there we go, okay. Then we just feed the ducky. Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? There we go, and was this anything here? This here? No, okay. Hmm, practice sword fighting. Let's be frank, you can never hope to beat me. No way! You'll never catch up to my level! <laughs> catch up. I win! I win! Uh-uh! <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun! Hmm, okay. That was ready. very simple. Didn't need to learn any insults or anything like that. Okay, add some sauce to my scurvy dog. Sauce? Where can we find some sauce? What is this? What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Ah, okay, so we're just gonna... Can we just use it like this? You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. Hmm, <laughs> but it's apparently not gross to pick up some ketchup from the ground. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. I misclick there. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Yeah, because that's so much better than using the scurvy dog on the ketchup when it's on the ground. There we go. That's done. Find find a four four leaf clover or clover. I make a wish at the wishing well. She's not gonna show us where to go next. Ask D to practice sword fighting. Well okay, let's try that. Do you want a sword fight with me? I've seen you fight. Come back in a few years, maybe. Hmm, okay. She's not only a nerd, but all but 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 is also so full of himself. Uh, full of herself even, sorry. 
another another trash can, but but there's probably another rat floating around in there. Read the sign. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> as if. Hmm. Yeah, as if. Well, let's, let's go. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. Okay. Well, I think I can see one over here. Well, that was easy. I found one! Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! At oh. home, I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. Okay, sure. Chucky, you got an interesting... interesting hobby there. Collecting scurvy dog sticks. Make a wish at the wishing well, and then find our parents. Does she have anything interesting to say? What you looking at? Those kids jumping rope down there? <sighs> They're doing it wrong. Sure, whatever you say. Well, here's the wishing well. I should find a coin to throw in. Hmm. Okay. Can we open this gate? Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. Hmm, okay. Thanks for telling me that, Chucky. So I guess we won't be going there just yet. Just look around and see and see if we can find a coin. Hmm. I never thought I'd ever find one. Okay. Oh wait. Hmm. There's a coin here. I wish Chucky had a mustache. I wish D would disappear. I wish for a cool plant. I wish for another scurvy dog. I wish we could speak backwards. Um. I guess we could wish for another scurvy dog, maybe. Now let's say this. I wish Chucky had a mustache. I wish Chucky had a mustache. Ah! Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh, I didn't expect that to actually happen. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do it again? That was cool! I wish I had another coin. Okay, well, I guess we just go here then. Now we have to look for our... Wait. That... That's our dad? That he looks very much like Guybrush. Okay, uh, and who is the mother, Elaine? Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Finally. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Oh, this music. Deep in the Caribbean. The island of Mele. 
Fuck yes, return to Monkey Island, folks. Monkey Island created by Ron Gilbert. Designed by Ron Gilbert and Dave Grossman. Written by Dave Grossman and Ron Gilbert. Ron Gilbert. Dominic Armado as Guy Stripwood. Art direction by Rex Crowell. And art by a bunch of other people, as well as animation. Music by Michael Land, so he has also returned. Lead game programmer David Fox. Game programmers Blade Craner, Kenny Sun, and sorry, I read too slowly. So they call this Dinky Game Engine because uh, Ron Gilbert uh, or the or terrible terrible toy box made their own adventure game engine. So I, the, they or, originally made that for Thimbleweed Park. So I wonder if they're using the same engine here. And, and they call it, what did they call it again? Dinky engine or something? That was great. Part 1. A Friendly Place. Ah, feels good to be back on Melee Island. The hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no. I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. Okay, let, let Chuck kid, kidnap my wife. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas. We have been enemies for my whole career. That guy steals all my best ideas. I'm out. I'm mounting on my voyage, mine. Can we say all of this? Well, in case we can't. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? <laughs> Okay, so we can say all of this. The Chuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. <laughs> We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. Well, at least that feeling is mutual. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. Mm -hmm. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. LeChuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm going to hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. Yeah. You'll see. I was about to say, yeah, I know where the Scum Bar is. Mm, but before that... It's like a mini lookout. I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? <laughs> that's not that's not what we were referring to, but sure. Anything else? Shouldn't you be on your way to the scum bar to talk to the pirate leaders? Well, I was just about to head down there. Yeah, yeah, we're going. Head for the island interior, can we? My business right now is down those stairs with three pirate leaders and the fat wad of cash they're going to give me. 
Mm, okay. Stare into the bonfire and warm my hands. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. And there's a rat in there as well, just chilling. Okay, well, the art direction of this game is, well, let's just say that, let's just say that when I first saw this art, uh, this art style, when I saw the first trailers and such, I was not a big fan at first, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, maybe I warm up to it, just like Kypris is warming up his hands at the fire right now, so maybe I'll, so maybe this, maybe, uh, maybe I will warm up to this art style over time. And actually, there was there was quite a bit of a contro controversy regarding the art style because there were many people who did who did not like this style at all. They would have wanted the game to look more like the more like the original game using pixel art and stuff. So there were many people who were disappointed, and I can I can understand why. If it was me, if I was on the helm of the, the development team, I, I would have tried to hire was it Bill Tiller, who was the lead background artist for Monkey Island for for, for the Curse of Monkey Island. So Monkey Island 3, uh, basically. I would have tried to make a, I would have tried to make this game look like Curse of Monkey Island if I was the one uh, on the helm of the team. But yeah, anyway, maybe I should end the episode very soon here. Well, let's head head down to the dock at the very least. I lost track of time that how much I, how much I have played. I want to keep going, but at the same time same time I don't want to make this episode too long, and I also want to play something else today too. Okay, so re-elect. That doesn't look like Elaine. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's hard on softness. Carla, wasn't wasn't she one of the three pirates? Uh, well, not necessarily pirates, maybe, but wasn't she one of the three people whom we hired in the first game to come to come, uh, to join us to the voyage to save Elaine to find uh, Monkey Island? Re-elect Governor Carla. She's hard on softness. Hard on softness, huh? Well, now they got more than just one option. Uh, one, more than just one option, or one person to vote for. I mean, the first game there was there was only Elaine, and her catchphrase was, "When there's only when there's only one candidate, there's only one choice." Isn't isn't democracy so easy? Okay, that must be Lechuk's uh, ship. Let Chuck is already loading his ship. I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. Doesn't he? Doesn't he already know what the secret of Monkey Island is? Well, in the Curse of Monkey Island, he said and he doesn't know it. Scroll along the docks. Ah, so I can I'll go there. I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck is up to. Mm, okay. All right, and the scum bar. Time to talk to the pirate leaders. Ah, the scum bar. Some things never change. The scum bar will be here as long as there are pirates. Damn pirate wannabes. Hmm. Pirate wannabes like yourself? Is there anything else here? Scroll, scroll around the docks. There's a door, a sign. And then head to the low, low, low street of... What was this town called again? Was this just called the town of Melee or something? The island is named Melee, but I don't know what this town is called, actually. Now, now that I think about it. But anyway, like I said, I'm gonna end this episode here. I don't know if this episode is gonna be too short. I, I lost the track of time, and, and I don't want this first episode to be too long. And besides, I want to play something else today too as well. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna be playing two games today, and that means two videos. So yeah. And in the next episode, let's enter the scum bar and talk to the pirate leaders and ask them that what's the deal? What's LeChuck up to? And maybe they could also help us out financially to fund the expedition to Monkey Island. Maybe, possibly. We'll find out next time. So, until then. Thank you for watching and see you next time for more Return to Monkey Island. God, it's good to be back.